Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we have a powerful new update for our Samsung Galaxy smartphone that extends the customization capabilities of your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So let's dive in and get started. Now this update does come to the theme park module via Goodlock 2021. It allows you to create some amazing customizations on your phone. For example, I can create any kind of volume bar that I want with any color scheme, as you can see. Now to get this update, you wanna click the link down below. It's gonna take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you wanna scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you wanna click link number one. Once you click this link, it will take you to the theme park, and then you wanna click the update, okay? Now to use theme park, you may need good luck as well. Uh, if you wanna get good luck, you can also click this link here, specifically for good luck, which is also gonna get you that module. So either install or update, and you are gonna be good to go. So let me show you what's happening over here. So I'm gonna go home here, I'm gonna launch the theme park module, which is the update. You can launch this standalone. So I just search for it. I'm gonna click on it, and right off the bat, you are gonna see what's new if you are familiar with this application. Uh, at the bottom, we have the theme, the keyboard customization, the quick panel customization, which applies to this area right here. And then finally, we have the volume panel customization that was just added with this brand new release. Here's what the older version looks like before the update. You only have three options at the bottom. So let me show you what's happening with this one. I'm gonna go to the volume panel, all right? And basically all you wanna do is you wanna create new. So once you tap on create new, it gives you an interface which allows you to create your own custom volume panel. At the bottom, we have a bunch of colors that are pre-selected for us. We can just choose that option if that's what you wanna use. Okay, you can do any color that you want. But if you wanna make your own, all you do is you click on these little circles. So if I click on this circle, I can pick the color for that white filling. So tap on this one. Let's just do red so you can see what I'm talking about. Maximum saturation, let's just pick red so I can make that into red, okay? Or I can tap on this circle right here and I can change the color to any other color uh, for all those areas. For example, if I click right over here, that's for the background color. So let me change the background color real quick. I just want you guys to get an idea. Let's just do green so you can see the difference. So that's the background color, okay? So all these circles will change this colors for you. You can even change the color of that icon. You can see it's black right now if it's active. So you can change every single thing. You can pick these pre-selected colors or whatever. Now once you create the volume panel, you tap on save on the top and then you give it a name, whatever name you want. I'm just gonna say new two, okay? The second new one that I made today, I'm gonna tap on okay. Once you do that, it's going to uh, create and try to install. Now to actually install it, you have to click on it. So right now, if I tap on my volume button, I got this one that I just created earlier, but if I wanna use this one, I click on it, I click on apply, this is the regular mode, this is what it looks like in dark mode. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on apply. It says changing the setting. Now when I go to my, let me just go home real quick. When I do the volume control, it's gonna use the new one as you just saw. Not a great combination, but you can make your own the way you want it for yourself. So that is fantastic. Let me go back out here, go back to the theme park. And again, I just wanna clarify, when you create a new theme, uh, when you see the circle, that little blue dot is what denotes what is going to change color-wise. So here you have a circle, you have a little blue dot. Let me just point that to that with this pen. You got that little blue dot. This is the area that's gonna change. You got a circle right here. That's the little blue dot. That's the area that's gonna change in color. And you customize it by tapping on that circle and choosing whatever color that you want. Again, let me just do red here, maximum, look at that, all right? Just so you know, then you save it, that's it. You can always click on this icon to preview 
what it looks like in the night mode. That's all there is. This is to it. This is the regular mode. When you turn on the dark mode or the night mode on your phone, that's what it's going to look like. That is absolutely fantastic. And that's it. So I'm going to go back. Uh, for those of you guys who are not aware of this application, you can also go out here to theme and create your own theme. So if I tap on create the theme, what it does is it loads your current background image or you can go to gallery and pick the one that you want, any photo that you want. So let me just tap on gallery. Let me go in here for a second. Let's just pick any, any photo that I want over here. So that's going to be my main background photo. It allows you to pick the area, okay? So when I click done, now that's the photo that's going to be used for my entire theme. I tap on next, all right? And look at what it does. It creates an entire theme based on that background color. So it's mostly green and white. So that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting a slightly green phone dialer. You go settings menu. Uh, the clock application, the reminders application, and I can preview what it looks like in night mode. I can tap on these buttons to see all the pages individually, okay, or all of them at the same time. And I can change colors and play with the settings. Look at that. I can play with all this stuff and customize it to my heart's content. I can even tap on this edit icon and go even more into detail. This is absolutely crazy when it comes to creating your own theme. Now I'm gonna go back out here for a second. Once you create your theme, it appears right here or right here. You click to select it, it applies to the entire phone. You can do the same thing with the keyboard. Okay, you tap on create a new keyboard and you can customize every single uh, color, go back here, color of your keyboard, then save it and then apply it. So keyboard, theme, and then finally what we have is we have the quick panel. So this applies to this area. If you want to customize this area, boom, you go right here. You tap on create a new and change every single color of every aspect of your quick panel. A completely powerful way to customize your smartphone. All right. Now, I do want to give a quick shout out to Rishav from Twitter for letting me know about this update. I was not aware of it. He brought this to my attention. So thank you very much. If you guys want to send me any tips and tricks, just DM me on Twitter. OK, so if you do have any questions, comments or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. But this is it. This is a powerful little customization solution for all Samsung smartphones that support good luck. 2021. All right, guys, for now, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.